put a wrap on the 2012-2013 college basketball season here in this visit with James Green. 17-11 and 11 matches the second-best Division I record in the history of the program. Go back to early November, Eastern Michigan comes in. I think maybe that set the tone, the victory there. You beat Murray State for the first time. You've beaten Austin Peay two times in a row now, and you got the bracket buster win. Uh, those are some of the highlights. Would you agree of the season for you? I certainly would. Um, you know, I think uh, the Eastern Michigan game in the beginning of our season concerned us so much because of the amount of practice time that we didn't have. And uh, I think to practice – later in terms of team practice 10 days later than everybody else not having the individual workout situation that we've had in the past was something as as a coaching staff that we were very concerned about whether we would have enough in to even go and play uh, fortunately for us our guys competed very hard early in the year and even when we weren't good at things which uh, that lasted in some of those areas, but we were able to make up for it with the effort. And I think that's probably uh, throughout this season has, uh, was the thing that was good for us is that guys showed up with effort every day. APR sanctions, you knew about them going into the season. No OVC tournament, no chance at the NCAA tournament. Yet these guys responded, and I think that says something about the class and character of these guys, does it not? Well, it really does. I think uh, each individual player – uh, concentrated on their game and what they could bring to the team to help us be successful in each game. And I think doing that game after game and playing the game for the reasons that you, you play the game is for the competition and obviously to try to be the best that you possibly can be. Uh, our guys were able to put together a season that uh, we can be proud of. Four seniors, Ronnie Boggs, Tarvey Gaines, Mason Leggett, and Ronaldo Mafra. I mean, that's a pretty big hole, a void that you've got to fill with those four guys, isn't it? Well, it really is. They've uh, kind of set a standard for, for a senior class. And uh, not only that, uh, last year they began to turn it around and, and really make a difference. And if we can have that type of leadership along with that type of ability every single year, will give us an opportunity to be competitive in a league that's a good basketball league and then start to grow each year towards maybe trying to win that championship. Brian Williams, Nick Cook, uh, Rico Sanders, Darion Rackley, uh, Chris Deans, it'll be on those guys' shoulders in the coming year, will it not? Well, it will be, and they were provided some leadership this year that uh, should give them some direction on what type of leadership they need to have in the future for guys coming in the program. And obviously personality of your leaders and personality of the other guys that they're trying to show leadership to uh, sometimes varies. And uh, But when that comes together, it gives you your best opportunity to have success. I know you've already been out. The second season is underway in the lifeblood of the program. Can you tell a difference out on the recruiting trail with the, with the folks you're talking to, the young men you're talking to, with the success that you've had this season? I think so, and, and some of it may just be a coaches feeling better about being out there after having a little better season. But I think people understand, uh, you know, kind of what we've gone through and what we're trying to get done with the program now and, and can see that that's in effect and, and working. And uh, I think we have we have more interest from higher-level players than uh, probably at any time that I've been here. And one last thing, schedule-wise, I know you're still working on the schedule. Last few years you played two, three guarantee games, and I'm assuming that will be the case when you look to 2013-2014 season. Well, it will be and probably will be for some time uh, for a couple of different reasons. One, uh, guys like to play against right. really good players. Uh, financially it helps us. And uh, I think it prepares us from a basketball standpoint to play against teams in our league. And uh, so we will be doing that. Uh, probably scheduling wise, we'd like to play more home games, uh, have our students more involved and uh, throughout both semesters, I think we took a huge break uh, throughout the holidays and, and then we played some games during the holidays that weren't the best for us. But uh, we can have a better balanced schedule in, in terms of home games and when they're played, uh, then I think that's very important in the building process. And as you mentioned, the building process, now you want to take that next step to where you're top four of the league on a consistent basis. Can we say that? Well, that's a challenge, and, uh, but that's the, the goal that we have is to put ourselves in position to uh, 
play for a conference championship and the best way to do that is be in those top four spots and obviously if you can come out and win that tournament and play in the NCAA tournament uh, that's one of the greatest feelings uh, a university and its fans and players can can feel and uh, hopefully that's where we're going with this program. He enjoyed it tremendously. It was a great year. Congratulations. Thanks Mike. Jacksonville State head coach James Green, Gamecocks 17-11 in the 2012-2013 basketball season.